Yo, welcome back everyone. This is JP here with PSG bringing you some more Madden NFL 20 on the PS4. Uh, you know, I faced the franchise QB1, Mr. James Pulley himself, uh, just to show you what's going on. We are playing the 8-5 and five Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead. It's a huge game if we can win this one. Uh, look at the standings here. We are in first, but since we beat Kansas City once, we are ahead of them, luckily. But to end out the regular season, we played the Lions at home and the Raiders at home. So those could be two easy wins, especially at home in the season for us. Uh, looking at these stats, we've done 4,990 yards and 42 touchdowns with a 109.5 passer rating. If you look at the NFL records, passing yards in a season is 5,477. So we only need 487 yards to tie the record, and we can easily do it. We're not in the discussion yet for that. We're a little bit behind. Uh, passing touchdowns in the season is 55 by Tom Brady, but we're sitting down here at 42. So if we can get about five touchdowns per game, we can break that record pretty easily. Uh, passing yards in the game, we are second with 536 right behind. I think it's Nick Van Brocklin. Uh, I can't remember for sure what his first name is, but he played for the Rams in 1951. He threw for 554 yards. We are going to try to hopefully beat that before the end of the season. And passing touchdowns in a game. Uh, we have not been in that discussion, but the record is seven by uh, Steve Buckman, I think. I'm not I'm not too sure with the older guys. I, I, I always get them a little mixed up. But you can see the closest person to do it uh, recently is Nick Foles, Peyton Manning, Andrew Brees. Patrick Mahomes threw six last year and won his games. So hopefully, let's see if uh, if we can break some records to end this season. Um, Pretty excited to finish this out. Um, I should have some video. I should have already had the videos up by now of the start of the Colts franchise. That'll be our next Madden project. And then I have ideas for two other franchises that I would like to do. I'm not going to give you any, any uh, tell you what it is because I would really like to surprise y'all. I have two different things I'm thinking about doing here. Uh, so we'll see how that goes in the future. Uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be some tougher franchises, especially one of them. The second one maybe not so bad. But here we go, getting into the away game versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Should be a fairly good game. Uh, we we beat them pretty good last time. Hopefully our defense can stop them. Uh, we know their defense isn't that good. That's been one of their downfalls the last several years. But they do have Tyree Kill. Back there. No more Kareem Hunt, luckily, as he plays for the Cleveland Browns now. And let's see. And we get to stop the first drive. So let's see what we can do here. Start off with a nice little levels Y corner here. Nice pass there to Emmanuel Sanders. For 20 yards to get this drive going for us. And uh, we are, we might run the ball some here. Let's see here if we can get some run game going with Mr. Philip Lindsay as he is playing for us. We have thrown over 5,000 yards this season now. There we go, Lindsay. Get upfield. There we go. A good eight yard gain there. To make it second and two. So we are going to use him as much as we can in this game because this is a must win game. We just want to make sure we throw about five touchdowns. Why would you not run to the outside? Okay. Lost two yards there. It's okay. Still third and four. So we're going to go mesh spot here. Just get two guys going across the field there. Maybe hit Sutton. There we go, Sutton. Get that first down for us. Let's go level live corner again. I don't want to be too repetitive this game, but we got to find what's going to work best for us. Oh, nicely done there by the, the defensive end. Skip and bat that ball down. Let's go verticals here. I've been working on this verticals play quite a bit here in uh, 
You gotta find a it way. sucks. Like, I can't do this. Point, to me, that's the magic number. Point score, Ooh, nearly an interception, the interception there. We got lucky. Meant to hit him just a tad bit sooner. But I was trying to uh, read what that uh, that linebacker was going to do there. Some fan on. No. Okay. Not not the greatest start. But we moved down the field against the defense there. Okay, got another big stop there. So let's go play action draw shot here. Ooh, this could be big for Sutton here or Fant. Oh, man, I had him too. But Darren Lee getting off that edge there to get that sack. Got to find a big money play here. Pass. There we go. Middle high low. I love this play. Ooh, I like this defense setup right here. Dang. Man, why they. It's like my arm's just a little bit off. Go uh, play action post shot here again. See if we can just get something going here. Get out of this 10 yard line at least. Get a little bit of yards. Get that first. Get that first. Oh, so close. Face mask, though. We're going to get the first down. We really need it that there. Huge, huge penalty there to help us out. It's a perfect read. Okay, let's see here. All right. So we got to get some run game going here. We're going to go count a week. Oof, just a one-yard gain there. Let's go tight in attack here. Ooh, maybe I can hit Sutton again right here. Second and nine now. But we will hit Mr. Jake Butt, who gets another face mask for us. As we are going to just continue to move down this field this time. This defense is trying to play pretty dirty, it seems like, this game. Uh, maybe we can hit Fant here. Ooh, Patrick. This guy, God, if I remember correctly, he balled out not too recently. What? That was a face mask, though. Did you see the way he pulled him down? Okay. Please let us have the ball still. Still have the ball. Ruling on the foot is overturned. So we have to throw a touchdown here because we need five this game. Starting field position you could possibly have. First and goal from the one. They'll look to throw here. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I thought he totally caught that. Alright. Then go that same play again there. The last play of the quarter. Second and one. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook Good. up. Man, why are you running out of bounds? This first We're scoreless after one. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense. They're giving it all they got. Ah, oh, man, we're trying. At the end zone, but it's incomplete. Get the, and we get a touchdown? Alright. Right. Looking for butt here, honestly. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught left Big Butt has been huge for us this season, so I'm trying to utilize him the best I can. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. Twelve yards. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. It is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge Nice six -six catch there. Is that Sutton? They really do. Or is that? I don't know who that is. I thought that. Yeah, Sutton. He told his quarterback, just make it looks like he said 44 at first. All right. Like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. Back to back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. 
They'll set up a throw. Sutton reeling it oh, in. come on, side. Sutton. You got to get up field, buddy. Of just over two yards is the first half we have to get a touchdown this drive. And I'm in the zone now. So you know what that means. We're going to go inside cross here. I'm going to send Sanders on the deep route. After the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective. Able to stop him before he get a good head of steam down. I wish he'd stop trying to bat the ball. And he would just catch the freaking football. Come on, Sanders. I need you here. I need you to get this. Looking to throw. Oh, broke through the tackles to get that touchdown. Dance on him. All right, let's go. Ooh, and they tied the game up there. But you know what? We still in the zone here, so we can go four verticals back in. We're going to see if we can hit Mr. Sanders. If he can get deep. Let's get that timeout there. Now the Broncos are going to call the first we can throw two touchdowns else. before half. We might be okay to get this uh, get this done. Now back to throw. Over the middle, he's got Deshaun Hamilton. Call a timeout the there, Mr. Deshaun the Hamilton. Coming up big for us again. As stop ooh, with just ooh, over 30 seconds to go get in the first half. Emmanuel on this one. Uh, can I get pass interference on that maybe? Hamilton, the right, we can't we can't have the incompletion here we can't down. take the big shot downfield all right let's go hurry up we still have one time out here and he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackles made at the Chiefs 18. Deshaun for the touchdown let's go dance on him again Let's go. We need this win. We can't make any mistakes here. Tyron Aaron Rodgers 2011 single season touchdown record. We surely plan on doing that today. Still in the zone, of course. Second half starts with a run by Lindsey. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play. Let's go halfback angle down. here. Might be able to hit Sanders or Sutton. Oh, incomplete. I thought he caught that. I thought that was a very well thrown ball there. Let's go right oh, this four verts here. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Sanders has it over the middle. That wasn't holding, and he's was it? Be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Come on, man. I finally got a good play there. All right. So apparently some grab there on the four middle of the o line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position. That's difficult to do. Oh, my. Oh, he dropped it? Come on, man. It was in your hands, man. Like, I don't understand these receivers. They're going to... Okay, they held him to, to full goal. All right, now we got to be careful because we're not in the zone no more. We got to complete five, uh, three consecutive passes of five plus yards through the air. Back to throw here. Is that is that holding or Yes, all right. We're gonna decline that because we want to keep that that pass. What it didn't? That was more than five yards through the air. So passes kind of mess that stuff up. Oh my God! What a catch! What a catch by Panther. Kansas City challenges. Ruling on the field was upheld. Nice. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. Okay. You have to throw another touchdown here. That'll give us three. Now we're in the zone. 
but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination. Maybe we can hit Deshaun Hamilton here on this play. It didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident. Mr. Hamilton you lose the challenge. came to play. When you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. I mean, this play has not worked for us so far, but it does this time as Manuel Sanders getting another touchdown for us. Give us three on the game. We are coming along good towards the end of the season. I guess... They uh, couldn't convert on third down. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. All right, we're going to hurry up. We're going to hurry up. Yeah, he'll be corralled well up field right around the 40-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. He'll drop to throw. Going for the deep ball. It's caught. Go, Sutton. Go, 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 go. Let's go, man. What a freaking game. 20 of 31, 385 yards and three touchdowns. We are throwing all over this defense here. We'll go curl flats and hope to hit Hamilton on this play. Let's see what we can get going on here. We know we can't throw an interception, luckily. And Mr. Hamilton getting his second touchdown of the game. Giving us our fourth on the game. We are one away from the record I need. So we're still in the zone here. If we can get one more touchdown, we will run this clock out. Let's go, uh, oh, it's not what I want. Trey Y flex here. Let's go play action crossers. This should work out pretty well. Come on. Man, I don't understand that. Right in your hands. And you're just going to drop the ball like that. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, hit for the incompletion. Had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough Oh, that should have been passing the turn. All right, we're at the zone now. I shouldn't have threw that ball, honestly. So it's, uh... Probably just gonna want us to run the ball. Oh no! Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh man! Yeah. Move everyone around here. I like this a lot more. Mr. Hamilton. He's got to have like close to 100 yards now. We should show his stats. They convert on third. Hamilton, the fourth round pick, had a very productive career at Penn State where he was teammates with Saquon Barkley. And the tandem of he and Cortland Sutton brings some solid youth to that Bronco receiver's room. And now the 24 year old Hamilton hoping to build on what was a 30 catch campaign from a season ago as a rookie. What a touchdown by Emmanuel Sanders there. I didn't know if that was going to work. It all mattered on that safety. They gave gives us five touchdowns on the game. And there's no way for Kansas City to come back now, so we are going to run this clock out. And if the opportunity arises, we will try to throw for a six touchdown just to help us out for the upcoming weeks. Ooh, Mr. Lindsey. Mr. Lindsey getting loose with it there. Finally getting some yards going. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. Let's go halfback ISO here. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. There's Freeman. Oh, that's Freeman there. He'll be hit Trying to get up there and throw some blocks for our running the back there. And that should get us to where we can QB nil and run this clock out now. Normally don't do this, but we don't want to throw no mistakes. We finally had a fight, like pretty close to a perfect game. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured they go down to a knee. Let's see if they kick a field goal. Okay, I was hoping not, but you never know. Sometimes the computer will mess up. What does that say, chicks? Oh, I bet it says cheats. I thought I said chicks. Look, that, that is a stupid, stupid looking 
Pat. Okay. Good game. Very good game there. All around. Oh, he started off the off. So the offense is very slow in the first half. But Kansas City throwing five, 405 passing yards for Mr. Mahomes. Uh, pretty big game for him as well. So we'll check out the stats. See if he made any mistakes on the game. And now we have single-handedly. Taking control of this offense, he's 77.5%, four touchdowns, big game for him, 128.3, Joe Flacco came in, threw one pass, one yard for one touchdown, so we threw six touchdowns total, so 23 to 36, 445, five touchdowns, four touchdowns, no one threw an interception in this game, longest pass was by us for 49 yards, 23 by Patrick Mahomes, running the ball, Damian Williams, no one had any rushing touchdowns, but he had 19 carries, 55 yards. Philip Lindsay, four carries, seven yards. And then Royce Freeman there at the end, two carries, 19 yards. I thought that was Lindsay that had that nice little run, but it wasn't. And then we had the two kneel downs. Receiving the ball, Tyreek Hill balling out for Kansas City. 12 catches, 151 yards, and a touchdown. But we had some big ballers our day, ourselves today. Uh, Travis Kelsey, though, 11 catches, 94 yards, two touchdowns. Deshaun Hamilton, seven catches, 132 yards, two touchdowns for us. Emmanuel Sanders, seven catches, 129 yards, and three touchdowns. And then Damian Williams had five catches for 50 yards and a touchdown. Noah Fant, four catches, 63 yards, and a touchdown for us. Sutton had 87 yards, and Butt had 35. So... Let's look at uh, blocking-wise who gave up sacks in this game. No sacks on either side of the ball. Defensive, so that should say. Okay, Darren Lee. That's right, Darren Lee did sack us once. Tackles for a loss. Uh, I think we basically tied there. They had three, and we had three. We had the most solo tackles. Josie Joel for us and Kareem Jackson. Actually, our top, they, they, we did better tackling than they did. Total tackles goes to Mr. Josie Joel also. Should be no interceptions. Let's see, pass deflections. They had two. They had a lot. They had a lot. A lot of pass deflections. No forced fumbles. No blocks. So, pretty pretty clean game from both sides. We were just able defensively to get more stops on them, and it helped us score more points, which is awesome. So hopefully, we can uh, we can step this up here and and uh, end up beating some of these records laid out in front of us here. So we're going to go in, send it to the next week. You already know, we're probably going to get AFC Offensive Player of the Week because we've been killing it this year. I mean, we have been killing it, man. Start your week by installing your game plan. So let's go ahead and simulate that. And that lets us upgrade. And this time we're going to upgrade. We don't have anything to really need to upgrade. So I guess, okay, top skills, run, throw under pressure, and deep accuracy. Let's do that because we want to get that deep ac deep accuracy up. Gets us to an 89 overall total but with the morale up. We are at a 91. So throw actually deep, plus one, throw submit, throw under pressure. Okay. And we are playing the Lions next week. And so now we are up the Chiefs and Chargers tied. So let's look at the playoff run here for the AFC. The Browns at 11-3, and three, man. They could finish out 13-3. And, and almost every simulation we go through, they end up winning the division. As you can see, we have not won our division yet. It is not a clear decided thing yet. But we are up there. The Patriots have not won their division yet either as the Jets are 8-6. and six. Chiefs at 8-6. And, and it looks like... The Steelers have a chance at, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Wild card spot. So a lot of teams in the running here, it looks like. Is anyone, ooh, my Titans sitting at 3-10-1 and ten and one on the year. It's not good. Not good to see. It's the first time I've seen that. Colts sitting at 6-7. and seven. Texans at 6-8. and eight. No wonder the Jags are the clear-cut favorites to win the division there. NFC-wise, it looks like the Rams have won their division. The Cowboys have won theirs. The Saints look like they could take their division, but the Falcons still in the running there at 8-6. and six. 49ers looks like they're going to get a wild card spot as they are in the same division as the Rams. The Bears look like they're going to win their division, but the Vikings and the Packers right behind them there. 
and uh, I think that's it, right? Rams, Saints, Bears, and Cowboys. Yeah. No. Let's see who the worst was there: Redskins, Giants, and Cardinals. Uh, the Cardinals, Giants went three ten and one. The Redskins went three and eleven. So, ouch there. So let's check out the stats now. We are at five thousand four hundred thirty-five passing yards and forty-seven passing touchdowns. So let's see what that does for us on the record passing yards. Oh, we will break that record next game. Uh, game wise, we didn't throw as much as we wanted, but it's okay. Passing touchdowns in a game we threw five that game, so yeah. Uh, passing touchdowns in a season, we uh, it does this every time. We are now at 47, so we are eight away. So we need four in one game and five in another to break the record. Uh, we can do it. I know we can. It should not be a problem. It would be nice to see us break that record. Uh, MVP is going to go to us. Coach of the Year, Freddie Kitchens. AFC Offensive Player of the Year is going to be us. Uh, we are going to be the Rookie of the Year. Best QB. Manuel Sanders is going to win best wide receiver. Uh, we don't look like we have anyone running for best O-line, best D-line. No one there either. Best linebacker, no one there for us. Well, Bradley Chubb could get it, but doesn't look like it's going to happen. Best DB, nobody. Best kicker. Uh, Brandon McManus is in third. So, yeah, we could get a few awards for the, for the squad. But... We are going to call that it for today's video. So if you don't mind, smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new. If you don't mind, share this video. You know, tell people to come check me out. I'm going to do more Madden until Ghost Recon comes out. We're going to do a lot of Ghost Recon. It's going to be a very exciting game. But anyways, guys, this is JP with PSG. Peace out and have a wonderful day.